Of course. What is going on? I'm very confused. Something is broken with the atlas here. And I don't know what. Okay, I broke it. Is Spiral move? I hear a moving sound effect. What? Ouch. What? Ouch. You can hear that, right? Ouch. 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 I can switch my breath. I'm so confused. What is going? What happened? Why? What happened? Ouch. What happened? What? <laughs> what happened? I'm just gonna get out of this. Hey there, Ultimate Yoshi here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Spyro Under the Dragonfly. And now if you watch that intro, you should understand that for whatever reason the game didn't save. So I had to redo the very ending of Cloud9. And upon doing so, I somehow completely glitched the game. Perfect. As if this game wasn't already glitchy. So anyways, I got my ice breath, but for now I'm just gonna go head over to that honey level that I discovered in the that I discovered I have access to in the last episode. So I can simply just I, it's technically out of order, yes, but I don't even understand why it's placed over here. And there's the other monkey place that I'm assuming is somewhere in the ice breath area. But I mean, I just want to get this entire section of the map really cleared out so I don't have to worry about it. So I'm just going to do this crocodile guy thing. If they'll talk to me. There we go. You just kind of have to wait. Alright, there we go. Now, honeycombs is what we're up against. Spyro is gonna become a bee! He's floating in a pile of honey! I hope there aren't bees as enemies. I don't like bees, and I don't want them to be enemies. This is really weird. It's like... It's like a weird... It doesn't look like he's moving forward. It looks... It kind of looked like he was moving in a circle, and the camera was sort of was in a stationary point, but just moving around in a circle, following Spyro going around in a circle of lake. That's what it kind of looked like. If that if that expl explanation made any sense. Anyways, let's talk to this guy. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Frame rate! Welcome to Honey Mars, Spyro. Them rip-top critters have messed this here place up, but good. Opie? Opie? Why are you calling him Opie? His name clearly says I Jimmy Bob. What? I'll make you a deal as sweet as honey. There are some honey stills draining all the honey from Honey Marsh. You help us get rid Could of you say I've said honey more times in that sentence? About that you find along the way, you can keep. Just keep that between us now, you hear?
Oh, hi, pigs. So there's honey things with bees surrounding them. I'm gonna guess this honey is death. Yeah, and Spyro makes the same yowch sound effect that he does if he get get off the tree. Huh. I'll actually admit, the music here sounds kind of neat. It's the first time that's happened in this game. Are these giant flowers here for a reason or what? The music here kind of reminds me of a weird combination of Puzzle Blank Galaxy and the Fireworks Factory song from Spyro 3. It's, so far, it's the first song that I can actually hear, too. Like... That doesn't just sound like ambient sound effects. So, I mean, I suppose that's good. We got more of these annoying rip talks, though. They look really ugly. I'm, ne I'm not gonna get over that. They just look ugly. What is this? Oh, he has a laser. He has a laser, and yet he's wearing a hill... A hillbilly outfit. Logic? There is none. Hmm. I'm at a loss of what to say here. I mean, so far I've pretty much always kind of said what's on my mind about this game, and it doesn't... So wow, that gem draw distance. But yeah, I mean, like, there's not much else to say about this game now. It's just, I'm just kind of waiting for, like, opportunities that the game presents me with, and when the game doesn't present me with anything, it's just kind of... I don't know what to say. That thing is bouncing. It's grooving to the music. It's happy because there's actual music this time around. Uh, anything over there that I'm interested in? There's a weird machine contraption thingy barrel. But no, nothing else. I wonder if this place has any relation to the Honey Speedway from... Uh... Spyro 3. The gem over here that I missed. That wouldn't have been a bear. That would have been an embarrassing gem to have missed. Is what I was trying to say. I'm not sure how I stopped that. Th oh, that's a bee. Kind of looked like it was wearing Groucho Marx glasses. Is that a net or a... No, I think that was a banjo. Is he going to use a banjo as a weapon? Okay. I can't figure out what the melody of this song is. It just kind of... It, now, now I'm listening to it more closely, it's like... It just kind of sounds like a bunch of random notes. It, the only difference here is that out. I can actually hear the notes. I guess I need to breathe fire on the wheel to get it to stop working? I don't see how that makes any sense, but whatever. I guess I won't question it. It's Spyro. I like that part of the song where it's like... Or whatever. It is a bit of an incoherent song, though, from what I can hear. I can't hear it super well, though, because, I mean, I've got headphones on and stuff, and I'm talking... Ah, okay. GONG! <laughs> Does that happen every time I die? I don't think I've noticed. I don't think I've died that much. I didn't encounter any fairies, though. Oh, hey, I missed a gem. That's good to know. Apparently I missed plenty of gems. What the heck? I blame you, Sparks. Miss any other gems? I'm not noticing any. Are, are all the enemies gone? That's not... That's not how this game has worked before. In the Spyro games, including this one, when, an, when you died... And you respawn somewhere? Hey, hey, look, next to life. 
When you died and respawned somewhere, it was like, oh hey, all the enemies you killed are back. Un but here it's just like, oh, you killed all the enemies, now they're just kind of gone. And that's not... D was the game always just like that? I'm only n just now noticing? Why is it thundering? It's not even really thundering, it's just kind of... Well, lightninging. Well, it is thun it's thundering too, but it's not even lightning, it's just like flash. It's like, there's nothing going down, it's just like, the clouds are suddenly getting bright. And what correlate? Why is it stormy? Why, why is it stormy here? It's it's just a honey place. I don't see any reason for it to be stormy. Whatever. That gem was just floating. Why are these gems so close? Ow! Oh, good, a thief. Why do the thieves look like they're wearing checkers? Also, I like how he got caught on the other enemy. Oh, he was holding a dragonfly. Hey, it's Duckweed! The dragonfly names proceed to get even weirder. I'm not even gonna... I'm gonna assume Duckweed is some sort of plant? Maybe it's what Scrooge McDuck uses to get high, I don't know. Alright. Flower looks really weird, I... I feel like there's gonna be something to do with the flowers. Cause they're really bright blue and they stand out. So good game design would mean that something that stands out is important. It's kind of it's kind of like why the gems are shiny. They stand out. You can see them. And they're the collectibles. So I really shouldn't think that this game is gonna have good game design. But, I mean, it's still something I should keep an eye out for. Is that flower going to be a platform of some kind? It might be. I don't know. I'll keep that in mind for the future as well. Some pots over here. I'll break them. Because why not? I see there's a thing here. But, as per usual, I think I'll hold off on it for the time being and try and just finish up as much of this re regular world as I can before I go and do that. That's- that's what the usual theme for this- for this has been, like, just try and go through the regular worlds and then do- do the little bonus areas later. There's a lot of gems just strewn ha oh hey! That's Ice Breath. What? How am I not close enough? Okay. Hey, it's Suzuki. That sounds like a character from an anime, but I don't watch any animes, so I wouldn't know. Do 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 do. I'm at a loss as to what to say. Random gems just strewn all over the place. At least it's not like <laughs> grunts. The music. Though I will imagine that this music might get annoying very fast for you guys who can hear it better. Uh, not sure. I don't really have a sense of direction here. I'm just kind of wandering around and hoping I find the right way to go. Oh, hey, it's a flower platform. It's not the flower platform I was keeping an eye out on, but it is a flower platform. Gem on top of there, I can see the thing making a thing. I think I'm- no, I'm on fire. Blah! Hey, it's Russell Tim! What? Did... Did he... Did Spyro say Russell Tim? That's what it sounded like, but there was no Tim or anything in that. It was just, you caught Russell. Why did he add a Tim or something along those lines? Oh, Spyro... 
So, I'm kind of going along treetops boards now. Is that a dragonfly over there? I can't even tell. An extra life over here. I can't tell. Oh, that that's a key! It's a key, like from Spyro 1. I'm gonna fly over to this flower platform, because I noticed this earlier, and I... Hmm. I guess there's no purpose to this? Huh. I'll keep this in mind if I'm missing something, because there might be another... There might be some sort of sneaky glide that I need to go somewhere extra super special. Zoe's at me. Zoe? Zoe? Can you- can- Zoe! Zoe! Thank you! Jeez! Why was that so difficult? That's a weird sound effect. There we go, Zoe's at me that time without me even wanting it. Anyways, I think I've- I think I gathered up all, all the stuff that was up top there, so I'll go the proper way this time. There. Okay! Wasn't expecting that. Weird random tilty platform aside. Haha, <laughs> you can't aim. Did you kill him? Did I. I don't think I actually killed that guy. I think he killed himself somehow because it looked like he was dead before I did anything. Well, I almost just killed myself trying to experiment with that flower. Didn't realize there was honey below it. I don't see- Why does the honey hurt me? Is it like boiling hot or something? I don't get it. Anyways, another thing I can stop. Only got a few more of those left. Okay. These platforms are weird. I don't like them. Let's just get away from them, shall we? Another randomly long corridor. With gems just kind of thrown about. At least it's not bland and empty. Hmm. You know something weird? Despite the control issues and stuff, it almost feels a little easier to pick up gems without sparks around. In this game. Maybe, maybe I'm just insane. Maybe it has something to do with the bad controls in general. I don't know. It might just be Stockholm Syndrome. But, it almost does feel a tiny bit easier to collect gems without sparks around. But this isn't also, this is also not necessarily a good thing in the first place anyway, because I mean like... The whole purpose of it being difficult to collect gems without sparks around was so that you had incentive to not get hit, you know? So if it's easier to collect gems without sparks around, I don't know. Hey, it's Swan! Swan! I don't understand why some of the but I keep calling them butterflies. I don't... Whatever, it doesn't matter. They're butterfly dragonflies. That's my explanation. That's why they look different. They're not actually dragonflies. They're secretly butterflies. This is Spyro, enter the butterfly. Anyways, I don't get why some of the dragonflies run away from you and some of them just don't. Some of them just kind of stand there doing nothing. And it's really weird. Zoe, will you zap me? I'm almost dead. I can see that you're supposed to be here. Zoe. Zoe! Those little sparkles, they're you. Now zap me. Zoe? Zoe! Zoe! Come on! Do you want me to call you Zoe? Zoe! Come on! You're right here! This is you! I can wait as long as I have to!
She refuses to zap me, I'll just keep going. This is a very dangerous area with these rickety honey platforms and the fact that I have no sparks around. But, Zoe refused to help me out! I just... Did I just break a pot? With fire? That wasn't there? Um, moving on. You can go away. Need to be careful with this guy! Yeah, why is there a gong? Whatever. And because Zoe refused to zap me, I'm gonna be respawned all the way back here. Alright, meet you guys there, unless I find more gems that I missed. This pig is in the wall. Alright, I'm back. I saw nothing that I picked up except there was random bee noises. Sometimes, I don't know why. What do you have to say? Anything? We got ourselves a problem here. Alex Bob! Now these here rip talks have set up shop in our trees. And they're using them bees to launch attacks on us. It's those, you not them! All out, I'd be much obliged. When you're done, go obliged. see your cousin, Warren Bob. Cool. Now it's time to go kick some rip talk butt. Well, them beehives are pretty tough. So you're gonna need to swallow those rocks and spit them out like oh. watermelon seeds. <laughs> huh. So they brought back that mechanic. Mm, that's kind of sudden, but okay. I don't see any rocks, though. I, I don't see any rocks. But there's the rocks. Do I really need to use them, though? Because, I mean, he doesn't look out of reach if I do that. I guess he is out of reach. Or just completely immune. Alright. Chewy. Is that it? I guess there's... M what? He just kind of respawned. You there, do you have an explanation for this? Buddy. Alex. One. Uh... I'm doing something wrong here? Start with a different one or what? What the hell? What is wrong? Um, I think it's broken. There's a floating rock animation. I can't get another now. I, I can't even get another. I should have known something like this. Oh, uh Um... Um... Spyro's face right now is an accurate summation of how I feel about all of this. Am I just supposed to, like... Eat a bunch and then... No, I don't have more than one. What? 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 Oh! Ouch. 
Apparently the bees had projectiles that I didn't know about. I didn't... I guess that makes sense, but I mean... Didn't he say to attack the bees? Am I just stupid? Future ulti, am I stupid? I don't know the answer, but I mean... I'm pretty certain that he said attack the bees and not the beehives. And it just looked like the game was glitching. Really, that's my excuse. Like with the zero that appears randomly when you attack the bee, why does that happen? Why, why is that? If the bees have absolutely nothing to do with it, why is it like, oh hey, it's B. Also, why are these rocks glitching? I can't, I can't even get it without... I don't understand anything right now. I'm just gonna shoot that beehive down. Bam. There's only one more and it's right over there. My god, this was a mess. Come on, get it. Thank you. This is so illogical! I I'm just kind of... The bees just kind of died. Uh, Alright, let's go talk to Alex, then. Well, he, he said to actually to talk to his brother Warren. Buddy. I don't believe it. You did it! I told you I could handle it. I wasn't born in the back country, you know. What? What? Subtitles guy, you're fired! Words are one th A couple of misplaced words and not things. Uh, that's not even. That's nothing what Nike said! That is absolutely, completely wrong! He didn't say that at all! He said something completely and totally different! He said two sentences that were completely different from that! Yeah, but I didn't think you could really do it. Now I owe Jimmy Bob five bucks. And you owe us one dragonfly. I sure enough do. Here you go. <laughs> hey, it's Lily. So what was all that about Warren? I don't even remember what he originally said, but he said something about a guy named Warren, his second cousin. What is that up there? I don't want to talk to you. I want to look. I don't care. No! I'm tr I'm so far away from you! Stop talking! I want to look because it looked like there was something... I can't even see it from over here anymore. Yeah, that. Is that anything? That thing on the cliff over there? I can't tell. Whatever. Everything about this is messed up and I want to get far away from it! You know what? Next time on Let's Play Spire and the Dragonfly, hopefully less bad things. That's probably too much to ask for. Goodbye, everyone. I'm gonna kill myself after this Let's Play. Badger guy, play me out.